Oak Island has been a staple of treasure literature with the first published account appearing in 1863 and new books appearing on regular basis. On a small island off the coast of Nova Scotia, a mysterious money pit has kept treasure hunters digging for 200 years. Gary Drayton professional treasure hunter and author took part in the second season of The Curse of Oak Island, during which he found several artifacts near the site. Describing himself as a yellow belly he said the latest team trying to get to solve the mystery, the Lagina brothers, personally called on his metal detecting services. He say I found more coins and artifacts than anyone has ever previously recovered on Oak Island. They really do not know what they are going to find in the pit itself, they are exploring many different parts of the island. Sydney author Joy Steele has her own theory on the centuries-old Oak Island mystery that has captured attention from treasure seekers around the globe. She says forgotten history, not vast riches, is the greatest treasure to be found on Oak Island. There's hundreds of money pits along the eastern seaboard, as hikers even today often stumble upon saucer-shaped depressions with charcoal just below. It's nothing new to the Americans, especially in the Carolinas, but as this old technology was largely lost to time, my aim is to open up a new vein of history here as it pertains to Nova Scotia. Steele's theory has been recently backed up by a South Carolina archaeologist who has studied the naval stores industry, key to making and maintaining wooden ships. According to Steele in a published article in the Bridgewater Bulletin in the 1980s, there is reason to suspect that three chests were deposited on Oak Island. Steele said she believes these chests contain family papers that were bequeathed to Leonora Christina Ulfeldt, daughter of King Christian IV of Denmark, who was locked away in Copenhagen for 22 years. Since 1795, explorers have traveled to Oak Island in search of a mysterious buried and booby-trapped treasure. So far, none have successfully reached it. Then 200 years, treasure hunters have been lured to Oak Island, a lush, 140-acre piece of land off the coast of Nova Scotia, where a hole dubbed the Money Pit promises a bounty of hidden wealth if they can reach it. Some of the more imaginative speculations have verged on conspiracy theories, that the system was designed by Leonardo da Vinci, served as an underground UFO base, or was a holding pen for African slaves. For decades, explorers struggled to cap an endless flood of water that prevented access to the shaft. Then, in the mid-1800s, workmen made a strange discovery, what appeared to be a beach was actually artificial, and water was flowing out from the shore instead of in. When the beach was excavated, they found that it was actually a disguised and complex system of drains that kept filling the money pit with water at an estimated rate of 1,000 gallons a minute. But continuous discoveries of relics kept the hope alive that a treasure trove lay just beyond the digger's reach. At 98 feet, one company of treasure hunters drilled into what was described as layers of oak, a large space of metal in pieces, then more oak, and more metal, leading them to believe they had finally hit upon two chests of coins. Water plagued the explorers, who built dams and adjacent shafts in attempts to halt or circumvent its flow and spent tens of thousands of dollars on water pumping devices.